a segment splits a circle horizontally like a window blind except for the diameter but every other line here is known as a chord a shaded area within the chord is known as a segment we have the major sector and the minor sector likewise we have the major segment and the minor segment let's consider how to find the area of a segment this line is known as a chord and the shaded portion is known as segment usually within a circle a segment is inside a sector this is a sector inside a sector is both a segment and a triangle then a segment is a sector minus the triangle which is this portion there are three ways of finding the area of a triangle the first one is when you have the base and the height next is when two sides are given and an angle and the next one is when you have three sides no height and no angle where s is the semi perimeter which is the addition of the three sides divided by two any of these can help you to find the area of a triangle but in this video because of the central angle we are going to use this formula to find the area of a segment we are going to use this formula when the central angle is in degrees and this formula when the central angle is in radians find the area of the segment with radius 24 we want to find the area of this segment which is enclosed in a sector step number one consider the angle at the center the angle at the center is in degrees hence we are going to use area of the sector minus area of the triangle in step number two we choose the right formula and in step number three we're going to write out the formula and substitute which is the area of the sector which is 603.264 meters squared next we're going to find the area of this triangle which is 1 over 2 multiplied by the two sides of the radius multiplied by the central angle using the area of a triangle with a given angle our answer is 249.415 meters squared the area of the segment is area of the sector minus area of the triangle which is 353.85 meters squared how do we find the area of a segment with a given angle which is in radians the given radius is a while the angle is 2 pi divided by 3 which is in radians the first step is to consider the given angle which is in radians next choose the right formula here for radians it is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle the angle 
for this formula of a triangle is usually in degrees. Hence, we are going to multiply this by 180 divided by pi. From the area of a sector with radians. When you substitute and solve carefully, you are going to get 67.0293 meters squared. Next, let's find the area of this triangle. The formula is half multiplied by the two given sides multiply by theta. This theta for the triangle is usually in degrees. To be able to subtract from radians, we are going to multiply this by 180 divided by pi. Next, pi will take away this pi. 3 here is 1 and 3 here is 60. When you simplify further, your answer for the area of the triangle is 27.7128 meters squared. The area of the sector minus the area of the triangle is 39.32 meters squared for the area of the segment to two decimal places and four significant figures. Alternatively, in the calculation of the area of a triangle, we can maintain the angle of the radians without conversion. However, pi inside a trigonometric function is equal to 180 and not 3.142 which is pi outside a trigonometric function. Hence, because of the presence of this trigonometric function, which is sine, pi will be 180. Our answer will still remain the same. And the segment area will still remain unchanged. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. To locate and assess other helpful videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.